Okay, and before I start hiking to start dragging stuff around, um, how close do you think you all are ready? I don't know. I'm double checking with them. Uh, Shadow will be a little bit because she's um, gone from the house a bit. Gotcha. No problem. Gotcha, Fenrir. Yep, it's, like, good to try and give the character a break to do other things. Like, that's... When we had our last 16x pop run, like, that was the kind of thing we'd do, is we'd go and we'd push real hard for a couple of days, and then we'd back off from the push for a little bit, you know, deal with the farm, do all that kind of stuff. All right, well, the water is officially turned off now. It's taken a while to get there, but... We knew that was coming sooner or later. and just eat that sausage now before it goes bad. Uh, Rockbeard? No, I do not have um, respawn turned on for the zombies. Like, that's the whole... Um, the gimmick of this run is we're trying to eliminate the zombie population, population as best we can. That's the goal. Oh, I didn't open the door. That's the goal of this run. Okay, so let's see how many sacks of potatoes we can carry with us. Because all the other produce in here is probably already bad. Considering these aren't even fresh, but still. Am I really going to get that many sacks of potatoes? I mean, I'm going to want to prioritize eating the sacks of potatoes first. Okay. That's partly because we're well fed, so we do need to watch so we don't push ourselves too hard. Because we'll get as many of these into the freezer as possible. With that in mind, I want to be ready to drop the backpack if we get into a fight. Yeah, this will be a drop the backpack kind of situation.
trying to be careful not to go too far from where I've been fighting, since I don't know what's around us. Don't want to pick up any additional groups if I don't have to. Can't do any of that because I have my backpack on the ground. That's fine. And I'm burning through these meat patties just because. I want to have the extra strength for carrying the bag without taking extra fatigue if I can help it. And then on top of that, there's something that probably won't keep particularly long, so might as well eat them. Alright, um, so I got a hold of the others and they'll jump in when ready. Okay, so then we are good. For me and you right now, the others are just either finishing up what they're doing or eating. Alright, give me just like two minutes to get back to the ice cream parlor and then I'll be good. That's good, I'm still trying to figure out the streaming. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you are gonna try streaming, like today? Yeah, I've been looking out over it for a bit, but I think. Alright. I well, want yeah. to show people how bad I drive cars. <laughs> well, right. Well, once you get it, um, once you get up and running, let me know, and I'll make sure to plug it. Okay. Maintenance 3, awesome. I like my weapons lasting even longer. And sorry for falling behind on chat, just in the middle of all these uh, zombies at the moment, trying to get back to the ice cream parlor real quick. I see you. Alright, just you, How I go. Uh, how's what? How is getting back to the ice cream parlor with all the zombies? Um, a little annoying, not too bad. I'm surprised there's so many zombies out here, even on the highest population settings. I'm just like in the middle of a farm in the middle of nowhere, so it's a little weird. And it's definitely the zombies have moved around the last like three, four days that I ran down there. 
I'm real worried about the helicopter showing up soon. did see I picked up a zombie behind me, but I think I'm just going to lose him with line of sight here anyway, so it won't matter. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, hi, friends, plural. Run. If you two would be so kind as to cooperate... Don't want to hit them when they're like that. I'll get myself hurt. Okay, we're on the home stretch because most is road up here we've cleared. I say as I grab six more. Totally cleared, I promise. Not really. Seven more, actually. It's fine. We'll just eat some cheese. And yes, you did get me on that posture check, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Get that hydrate in a second as well. Alright, there's the posture check. Oh, I need to get another drink before I can do a hydrate. I see there's a zombie group there. We're gonna just not even worry about them. Hop this fence and go the other way. Yeah, Fenrir, I, I heard that. It's like, huh, that's a real weird migration. I've never had them be like that aggressive with the migration before. Okay, and we're up at the property edge of the ice cream parlor, so we'll just go there, drop our sack of potato, sacks of potatoes in the freezer, and it'll be good to start booting up multiplayer. Um, and if you are going to be chit-chatting like this is something i probably need to do as well is set up a button for me to mute myself on discord so when i'm doing stuff related to just chatting with stream kind of thing that i'm not talking over you just because i always wind up talking not over each other but we'll both be like addressing our chats and all that like that's not a thing that has to happen right now but it's something i probably should do yeah it's gonna take me a bit to figure that out yeah. I'll just need, like, a button to turn on, like, Discord mute, turn it on, turn it off, that kind of thing. I wish I, wish I had my old mouse. It had, like, 18 buttons on it. I know that feeling all too well.
Yeah, so we have 60 potatoes here that'll be frozen, but they're not fresh, so who knows how long they'll last. Uh, anything else I want to drop off over here? Oh, the can opener dropped that off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh... Yep, we are still at the ice cream parlor. I had to divert from pushing into Ekron temporarily to drop back to get more food, which we've located plenty of food, but now i got to deal with this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this for a moment because we are switching over to multiplayer. So I'm first going to hide the to-do list.